My very first one would be Cinch. What it basically does, it's like any application you open. I'll show you right quick how if you drag it to the left, this outline pops up and then it goes there and then to the right and then to the front. It's just like a resize helper. Uh, application number two would definitely be FaceTab Pro. It is the best Facebook application. Okay, the third one would be Remote Mouse. Remote Mouse looks like this. Um, it's free on the Mac App Store. And basically, you can control your entire laptop from your iPhone or your iPad or iPod Touch. And it shows on the screen a mouse display. Like, it's really useful if you don't have your wireless mouse with you and you're on the run, you can always use your phone. Next would be Total Finder. It creates tabs for your finder. And like, let's say you want to move folders, like you go to your documents, and then you open a new tab and you want to drop it into applications. Simply by double clicking the second tab, you'll put them side by side and easily be able to transfer the material. My next application would be Ten Thumbs. <laughs> this application is um, basically to teach you how to type correctly. Like it actually shows you really well. My next app, app number six, is Better Touch Tools. For those of you who have the Apple Magic Mouse or the trackpad, this simply adds a bunch of features to your mouse. For example, by single finger tapping the left, I can move a window left. And the same for right. Um, I can enter full screen with the two finger tab. I can single middle click and maximize window. If I click with three fingers, I can minimize anything. So yes, let's move on to number seven. Application number seven, oops would have to be a Sinuti. Okay, Sinuti looks like this. It's a CD with a key. Basically what this application does, it reverses an iPod's job. Instead of you being able to put music into the iPod and then not being able to retract it, this lets you retract any song from the iPod and put it into your iTunes. You simply plug in your iPod and click transfer and it'll transfer every single song you have on that iPod to your iTunes completely free. Next, I would have to say FrostWire. Since we all know LimeWire, sadly, they got taken down, FrostWire is a music search for your iTunes or your iPod or iMac or whatever. You search any song and millions and millions of songs come up and you simply download it and now they have this part where it automatically sends to your iTunes. The next application I recommend, it's called Think. Basically what it does, it lets you open Finder and it dims the entire screen and lets you just focus on Finder. Next application, last but not least, is the only application I have on this list that actually comes with your Mac and it saves a lot of money, a lot of time, and it's very, very useful. Believe it or not, I'm recording this video with none other than QuickTime. QuickTime Player, by simply right-clicking it, you can now make a new screen recording, new audio recording, or a new movie recording. And then it automatically saves to any folder you want. For example, I have it saved to my desktop as screenshots and recordings, and I have all of my videos on there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe.